What? No! No! no. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome back to Demo Drives, bringing real reviews to real people and answering some of those questions other channels might not talk about. So what does a Mini and a Fiat 500 have in common? It's not a bad setup for a joke by the way. Yes, they're both cars and have wheels. No, the concept between the two cars was the same. It's supposed to be cheap motoring for the masses. Now the original, original Fiat 500 was called the Topolino and that came out just after the First World War. Mussolini wanted a car that was cheap for the masses and he set a budget for £4,000 roughly in today's money and it went slightly over, it's nearly double that, but even so, the Italians fell in love with that car. 1957, they came out with this new revised version, or the Fiat Nuvo 500. There are a lot of different versions of this that came out, and this is the Aluso model, which is right near the end of this particular model's uh, generation. This has got slightly more, well, slightly plusher on the inside, We'll have a look at that a bit later on and a few changes on the outside. So we've got this bumper at the front, we've got the Fiat badge. Now I've got what you'd think would be the bonnet open and in fact it's not. The engine is located somewhere else. All we've got is a fuel tank in here and then some a spare tyre and some room for some storage. I just think this car is really quite cute isn't it? It's quite quirky and I can understand why they've sold so many of them and why the Italians love them so much. We've got white wall tyres. I don't think they were standard on the original, but I think it looks quite nice. We've got the red, which contrasts with the interior as well. Overall, just look how small this is. I'm not exactly a tall guy. I'm six foot and it's below my shoulder. That's how small this thing is. The length of it is nine metres. And to put it into some sort of perspective, if you know how small a Mini is, that's 10 metres. And the weight, under 500 kilos with this, and the Mini, 90 kilos heavier. I thought a Mini was small, but this thing is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and there's back seats. You can fit just four people in this thing. I'm not sure if you were gonna go on a longer journey, you'd want four people in here. It's a great little family car. Now the engine is at the back. We've got a very, very small 500cc engine. It's a two cylinder, <laughs> air cooled. It's like a lawnmower engine basically producing, this, this is, wait for this, 18 brake horsepower. And this is the more powerful version. Some of the older models, they had 13 brake horsepower. It's really not a powerful car, but I don't think it's supposed to be. But I'm looking forward to driving it anyway. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of a laugh, I'm sure. The reason it was such a simple engine was because the original concept was that anyone should be able to fix it. If you're in rural Italy, they want you to be able to go to the shops, pick up your groceries, pick up some parts for your engine and fix your car yourself. So that is the reason behind the actual concept of that engine. Exterior wise, because it is the Luso, like I mentioned at the front, we had the bumpers, we've got the metal rear bumpers as well. And we've got this shelf here, which actually has a picnic basket you can attach to it. But overall, I think this is a, it's a quirky, fun little car. So let's have a look at the inside, because that's, yeah, that's a bit unusual. So welcome to the inside of the Fiat 500 Luso. There's some first in here for the 500. We've actually got carpet. We've got leatherette door cards here. We've also got plastic on the dash because the previous ones were made of metal. I think that actually looks better to be honest. And a brand new Speedo here and something very special. It's got a fuel gauge. That doesn't sound impressive, does it? But none of the other models had it. You had to sort of guess when you were gonna run out of petrol. Steering wheel, admittedly, this isn't an original. It does feel better to drive with like this, but I think I'd want to put the original back on. So when you comes to starting the car, I got very confused <laughs> because you put the key in on the left and you turn it and it doesn't start. I was thinking, oh no, what have I done? Well, down by the gear stick, there are two levers you pull up. One of them is your choke and on the other side, that's your starter. I'm not sure why it's down there. I don't think if Miles 
hadn't have told me how to start the car, I would have been sitting there like a complete idiot for quite some time. But yeah, it feels quirky in here. There's certainly not that much to discuss, but I think what we should do now, we'll uh, head on outside because we've got some things we need to take care of. Right, I'm down here at HBC Classics and we're going to go on a bit of a charity run with the... Miles Hardy. On the Teddy Bear Run and what they do over the course of the year, they collect money doing lots of things with cars, get presents and then give them to the kids over the course of Christmas. So we're going to hop into this Fiat 500, which is quite small. Maybe. <laughs> with a large present and we're going to go down there. So let's get in Miles. Um, so, good luck with this one. Yeah. How much space is there going to be? Right. Good job, we've only got one present. Oh dear. Can you see all oh. right? Um, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's um, that's the thing. Yep. Yeah. Hey, we're there. Wow. <laughs> this is just bizarre. Uh, okay. Oh my God. This is the first time I've ever sat inside this car. This is... Uh, so there you go. Ignition. Oh, hang on. You've got choke there, yeah. <laughs> and this is your start handle there. Bit of throttle. Are we going to make it round? Mm, I can see a present, so I can't tell you. I don't oh. think so. Oh no! Now we need to work. You definitely need to find reverse. Are we in one of the locations you haven't yet tried? That one. No. Get in gear. This is going really well. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely forwards. Where the hell's backwards gone? Five minutes later. Now go. Should we ever go like that? No. Right. <laughs> no, that's not reverse. <laughs> For that. No. <laughs> much, much, much later. Most disastrous start to a video. Of all time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now this is... I know we said this is a small car. It's got some pace. Yes. You have to watch your neck because the acceleration can really <laughs> harm it sometimes. Um, I think Lewis Hamilton pulling G-forces in a and an F1 car was impressive. I'm guessing that's in kilometres as opposed to... That is kilometres. She's only done 94 since her restoration, so... Wow! Yeah, just over 50 miles, so it's <laughs> oh, been run in, and that's about it. Um, after this... Oh, you're good, you're good. Oh, so I need to somehow work out Flat what... Chat. What's going on with me? The fuel gauge is bouncing. Oh yeah, that's just classic cars. Because obviously the fuel's wobbling about in there. Oh, I think you found first again. <laughs> <laughs> Where's second gone then? There? Oh. That's third, I think. Is that fourth? I don't know. I can't actually see. Something so. it's up here. But you're saying it's backwards though, isn't it? So it could be third. No, 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 it's the, it's the right way around. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's a normal H pattern on this. She was loving it. <laughs> so we're doing 70 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a lot more scared if we were. <laughs> well, if it was that easy to do 70. <laughs> 70 equates to about 40, so we're, we're about right. It's funny. And it's not too bad, is no. it? No. It's mildly entertaining. I literally can't see much more than a present, but... That's not a bad thing. No, I suppose. <laughs> if you've got your eyes closed, you don't know what's coming, do you? So. Well, I better open mine then. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool, and the fact it's... They're actually quite entertaining, aren't they? It is, and it's new, basically, isn't it? What do you say it's done since it's been restored? Well, it's only 90, 96 kilometres now, so... Yeah, not very many. No. That equates to, what, like 50, 50 miles-ish, something like that. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a very, very cool little car. This is the, the poshest Lusso version, isn't it? which we think it stands for luxury, but <laughs> we're not, not yes, fully we're, sure about. <laughs> I think we're 
sort of used to a tad more luxury than this offers. Yeah, um, well, we have got the first. It's the first 500 with carpet wow. and a plastic dash. And door cards. Yeah, modernised uh, instrument pinnacle there. It's very posh. You've even got a fuel gauge. Yeah, oh. that's just showing off, that is. I know. Although I'm not sure I trust it, though. The fact it is bouncing around. That's because the fuel's bouncing around, though. It's showing that it's very accurate. If it was stood still and going <laughs> nowhere, it would give you a perfect reading. He says, hopefully. <laughs> it is a proper city car. Yeah. And one of the first ever city cars, I do believe. Well, the thing is, around, you know, you, when you're around Italy, you do still see lots and lots of these. Um, you know, where it's, they haven't got loads of salt on the roads, they don't rust, um, they're simple to look after and easy to get parts for. So, they do survive. Yeah, I know in the, when they first came out, they designed it that you could go into your local like shop in Italy if you're in the middle of no. Can hear an ambulance, which is not surprising. Um, yeah, not behind us, we're all good. <laughs> yeah, they designed it so you could just pop in to get your vegetables and your pasta and pick up some other parts for the car yeah, at you the same these, time, which is you know, piston rings or something <laughs> like that to go with your <laughs> carrots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Weird stew, but you know, yeah. we'll go with it. <laughs> I think that I'm not actually sure what both these I've got two switches down here and I'm not sure... Yeah, what one's full beam and the other one is uh, indicators from memory. And I'm not sure whether I'm driving around with my full beams on or... I don't think it would matter, to be honest. We're so small, people can't see what we're doing anyway. Right, we'll find somewhere here to park up. So we've arrived at the hospital then, we can go and give the children... Well, we have to give them to someone else to give the children their presents. Because of... Hand them over Covid secure. Yes, exactly. Uh, right. Oh, we made it. Look at that. Oh. Jangle them bells and frolic. Oh, by gosh, some stolly. Eggnog, gin and tonic make you tight, gay and jolly. Same procedure every year. I just can't. Oh, right. Ready? Delivered the presents. Oh, no. That's the. Oh god, that's squeaky. Right. Yeah, is that the clutch that squeak? <laughs> oh. oh. It just falls like, out of the ignition. It's like you're getting attacked by a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on 99 kilometres, we're about the big hundred. Are we ready? <laughs> Give us some throttle. Come on! Nearly. No! God, please, no! No! Yeah, that battery's knackered. <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you prepared? No. Maybe we'll cut this bit out of the video. <laughs> well, it's part of the classic car ownership. Charm. Charm, yes. Yes. Um, right, that seat will go there. Right, I'll turn you around in here. Yeah. Oh, she nearly went. There you go. Now don't stall it, Damo. It's... Oh. Revs, revs, revs. <laughs> Keep those revs up. Oh. Oh. Just keep it in first. Oh. Just rev it out. I don't know when it, it does rev out though, because you haven't got a rev count. Oh, so. yeah. This is when it sounds like it's going to explode. You yeah, know? when it sounds like you need to change, that's when you need to change. Oh dear. Mm. Everyone's so happy. Oh, it's a happy little car. I think the only car that's happy here is a Frog Eye Sprite. Yeah. And we've got one of those for sale too. Yeah. <laughs> Better stop, because I'm gonna... <laughs> Right, we're off again. Right, full race car driving now, Damo. Yeah, left here. 
Now you actually get to experience it properly. Without the incumbents of a big yeah. present in the way. <laughs> I'll wind the choke off a little bit. Yeah. She should be a... Uh... Little steering wheel's quite cute, really. I know it's not the original, original one. No, but, but it sharpens up the handling somewhat. Oh, we've hit 100 kilometres. Oh, it's a high mileage car now. Yeah. <laughs> sort of over. Over there somewhere. It's like stirring a pot. It's like, where's there a gear? Yeah, I think this is probably more woolly than even a Land Rover gearbox. It, it's, <laughs> I learned if you if you change gear using your fingertips, you can feel the gates. And that's that genuinely does work. Um, you've got more sensitivity. Mm. Um, I'll have a go at that. So you see lorry drivers and truck drivers with like, their million speed gearboxes. Yeah. Doing it like that. And that's why. So they can actually feel what's, what's going on. Right, here we go. Yes. Well, High speed run. The VMAX of a Fiat 500. Let's see how we get on. Right, you flat chat. I'm, I'm on the floor. All right. Oh, that does work. Uh, yeah, you can little feel pin, what's going pincer. On. So, basically testing 0 to 60 <laughs> if it can do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, oh, we've got some pace. 19. I'm not sure whether I should change up, possibly. Yeah, I'll change now. See if that massive low end torque has got anything yeah. to give. <laughs> oh no. Um, this is about a two mile bit of road and we're trying to get up to <laughs> the speed limit. We're, um, we're still not at the speed limit yet. <laughs> we're, at, we're at 95. When we come down the hill, we might have, we might have <laughs> our speed up. <laughs> Make ourselves aerodynamic. Yeah. Oh, 90. It's quite, it's quite comfortable, mind you. Yeah. 90. Oh, are we going to get to 60? We might get to 60 mile an hour downhill. Oh, oh. That's. I mean, to be fair, the engine hasn't fully bended in yet. It's still right. like new. So. Come on, a six, sixteen, I think there. Yeah, we're 110. So what? that that is 70 miles an hour. We hit then. So that was about an hour. Yeah, 70 miles an hour an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Not to 60 is yes. <laughs> it does. It can do not to 60. Um, Where are we going? Back round. Yeah, then? spin it back round and then. Uh, V max it again. Oh, I can't see anything out my wing mirrors. Uh, I think there's one pretty cut you up. You're, you're, off, you're right after this guy. There we go. I do like the pincer. It does. It does work. Yeah, just using your have fingertips. You, have you copyrighted that? The Miles pincer movement. I haven't. I was. I was taught that many, many years ago. I, so I learned to drive in the 1961 Land Rover Defender. Yeah, you're all good. What? What? No! No! no. <laughs> she went successfully. Oh, yes, Damien, that was smooth. I've no idea if I'm yes, into games. Yes, you got that, was beautiful. Look at that. Go on, flat chat. There's another Fiat 500. Yeah, the new one, he's uh, cheating. No? That's it. Yeah. There's third. I, I went the whole hand movement there as opposed to the cheeky pincer. Delicate. Gently. Ah, oh, you're getting the hang of it. Where are we going now? Straight on over, basically. Second exit, good sir. I actually think it could be that golf that we're smelling because that looks yeah. like it's just about to blow up. That does look a bit unwell. I'm pretty sure there's a phallic drawing <laughs> on the back of it as well. So, yes, yes. No, it it's is. just a just a face with a long nose. Oh no! 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 Oh no! What? Do 
do want to get out and push. <laughs> right on the roundabout. What a what an amazing. Do you want do you want me to push it? No, that's all right. You've got the driver's side. You got got to have someone's way, mate. <laughs> Right, ready? Yeah, go. Go. <laughs> go left, go left. Go on, fire up. Go, 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 I'll wait here. You go, you go. Turn round up there. Oh dear. Classic car ownership. <laughs> Let's go round and get miles. I can't believe this. Might be my inability to actually drive a car. Ah. Uh, Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. I just went to pull up here and it went burp. Hang on, let's uh... You get in, I'll push you. That's all right, we'll just uh, both push. Oh, handbrake's on. Yeah. Go. You jump in, I'll just push you and you can bump start it. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> First. Are you running yet, or is it? Hang on, door's not closed. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Leave her for a moment. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh, I'll just I'll wait here. I was like. No, I'll walk up a little bit. No, I'll run up a little bit. Oh. Oh, I'm out of breath, I've been pushing miles in this car. It's going to go back in to be looked at. It's been really, really good. It's absolutely sodded all. It's part of the joy of classic car ownership. Look at this engine now. It's absolutely immaculate. Complete rebuild. It's going to be something really... It's going to be something simple. It is. Oh. I'm really unfit here. A job for another day, I think. Yeah. I got my exercise with a bit of a run, but yeah. Let's put a smile on my face and possibly have a heart attack. I'll, put, I'll push you back to the workshop. It's actually that far, which is a bit worrying. It's not too far. <laughs> it could be done. It's gorgeous though, but the fact I sort of pulled into that, that turning there, it's like, right, Rev started to drop it, I'm sitting on the brake and the accelerator just went Brr. I'm just not going to bother. It's going, no, I'll have a siesta. It's well, Italian. Italian. What's an Italian siesta? Uh, Most of the day. <laughs> I'll have one of those things, I'll just give <laughs> up and uh, can't be bothered. She needed a little nap, is what she needed. Mm. Give her a break, she might be right after yeah. five minutes. Let's see she in a an espresso. <laughs> oh. A cheeky Lovatsa and she'll be back on the go again. <laughs> oh, hopefully, guys, we'll be seeing in a minute. It will be back, back up. Back up and running. <laughs> See in a minute. So we've got our emergency tow truck turn up someone else from HPC. Miles under the car. I'm sure he'll appreciate that shot of his uh, undercrackers there. <laughs> Strap it onto the back of the 5 Series and we're going to go back. It's not quite how I was expecting this video to go. Luckily, we've got the presence to the kids, which is really important. We got a high speed VMAX run out of the 500, but the rest of the day, it's not quite gone to plan. So yeah, 
It's going to go back for some work. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, entertaining, different, but didn't go to plan video about the 500. We're going to head back in the 5 Series, and that's it. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Have a great Christmas. Enjoy the celebrations, and yeah, give us a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. Whatever that happens to be. Thanks for watching.